Beverly Hills will always mean home to me. It was such a sweet little town and such a safe place. And I also love the fact that we never locked our doors. People really do like their neighborhood. It's really a neighborhood. And we really are small town America. But we're the small town you'll want to stay in. It's a wonderful small town with huge aspirations and great things to offer. I know the city is fond of saying it's the, it's the smartest small city in, uh, in America. Sometimes I say it reminds me of Mayberry RFD with maybe a little Botox and lip gloss on it. There's all kinds of people in this community and there's some fantastic people in this community. You know your council members and mayor and you can always place a call to them. Oh, the world thinks that we're all driving diamond encrusted Rolls Royces and getting into car accidents with Lindsay Lohan. Now there's something now Beverly Hills Housewives. Well, I don't know anybody like that. Beverly Hills, of course, is excitement and glamor, uh, but to me it was the door that helped me move on to my future. It was the land of milk and honey that everybody was looking for. It's a Peyton place, it's a Camelot, it's a movie ha star haven. Beverly Hills is a place where private people could be private. I feel very proud, as I say, that I'm part of a legendary city that's internationally known. You don't have to explain Beverly Hills. You have to explain Bel Air and what it is. You know, always think of Beverly Hills with the palm trees, driving down Beverly Drive in a convertible. It's just sort of the quintessential California experience. You know, it means Rodeo Drive, it means the Beverly Hills Hotel, it means, you know, everything that you dream of. Whatever a person's fantasy is of shopping, you get it. Walking down the street, you get it. Looking into the shops. Andy Warhol loved Beverly Hills. This is what he used to say. The richest and the most gorgeous people live in Beverly Hills. So what did that mean to Andy? Money. You have to make sure that they understand that you live in Beverly Hills, but you want Culver City prices. And to me, I think it was always more an opportunity of what you could be, not necessarily what you could buy. And whether you're an apartment dweller or a homeowner, it makes no difference. This is home. I didn't think of anybody outside of Beverly Hills thinking about Beverly Hills until I was much older and realized, you know, that it, what it is the center of, creativity. Probably there has been more money raised for more charities around the world within three miles of the Beverly Hills City Hall than anywhere, anywhere else in the world. People get P.O. boxes in Beverly Hills even if they don't live in Beverly Hills, just so they can say they have a Beverly Hills address. 90210, that's very famous. Are you in Beverly Hills? Then you say, yes, I am. Is it really great out there? Yes, it is. If you hit a pinnacle in your life, you want to live in Beverly Hills. What else do one, one wants? This is the, absolutely the American dream. Uh, Beverly Hills is the Hotel California. You can check out any time you want, but you can never leave. The history of Beverly Hills is best told in the passing down of our folklore from the generation of eyewitnesses to future generations who will make new history here. We're only 100 years old, but we have such a tremendous history in that 100 years. That's something that shows that there's more of a consciousness in town about honoring our history and honoring our legacy and building upon that. Happy 100th birthday to my favorite city in the world, Beverly Hills, California, the best. Happy birthday, Beverly Hills. You're 100 years old and you don't look a day over 99. Happy birthday, Beverly Hills. Born in 1914. And here we are, 2014, and you still exist. And uh, you, I can still talk cops out of parking tickets. It's wonderful. This is about a celebration of 100 wonderful years, but it's also celebrating today, living in a great place in a great city and uh, sharing the past, looking forward to the future.